it's time to choose to believe God because you have free will you get to choose you get to decide you get to choose oops if you will believe the word of God over the lie of the devil you get to choose if you will believe that by the stripes of Jesus Christ you have been healed or if you will believe another voice that says this sickness is incurable you get to choose if you will believe that where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom or if you will believe that this bondage is your portion you've paid you've prayed too much God hasn't answered it must be God's will for your life you get to believe the truth of God that says he who is in Christ does not sin and cannot sin because the seed of God is in him and start living a holy life or if you will believe the other voice that says I'm only human I can't fully stop sinning you get to believe that all power and authority you have free choice to believe that all power and authority has been given to you it is your possession by inheritance when you became a child of God when you received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior he gave you the Holy Spirit or choose to listen to the lies I'm too weak I can't the enemy has too much power this bondage is too powerful for me demons are so powerful and so on and so forth you get to choose you get to choose if you will walk in the spiritual blessings that God has given you as an inheritance the Bible says blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms has already been given to you by your father as an inheritance you get to choose to believe that and start speaking that and thinking that and walking like that living like that until it becomes a lifestyle the more and more and more you do it the more and more it will become a lifestyle bit by bit day by day start thinking like that choosing to believe God choosing to speak the word choosing to act like that choosing to live like that before you know it these little things that you are doing day by day combined together it will one day become your lifestyle in other words you will be living like that it's your normal now you know you get to believe that or if you will believe why why is the bible promising so many things yet i'm not see, seeing it in my life why maybe it's not for me maybe it's just something that applied for the 12 disciples of jesus then but it doesn't apply for me today you know choose to believe god choose to believe his word it's hard to believe somebody that you do not know it's hard somebody comes to you that you don't know and they say this that and the other to you well you don't know them from anywhere it's hard to believe what they're saying especially if you've been hearing something different all your life it's hard to believe this a new thing that you're hearing especially from somebody that you that you do not know it's the same with god if you do not know him intimately passionately deeply on a personal level not just okay father uh, i thank you please give me this protect my family good night that's not knowing him even a marriage would not last like that even a marriage would not last like that you you don't have this superficial relationship with your your your, your children you don't have such a superficial shallow relationship with your neighbor, with your colleague, why would you have such a shallow, superficial relationship with God? You know, notice when people first get married or just before marriage, or even sometimes throughout their marriage, they're, they want to be with that person. They want to speak 
to them about everything. They want to tell them about their whole day. They want to tell them what they bought. They want to tell them what they like. They want to share things with them. They want to do, I want to always be with you. I want to always on the phone, always messaging, always, how, how are you? What did you do? What, what, what are you going to do now when we put the phone down? You know, that, that closeness, that passion, that intimacy, that privacy where it's just you and that person it's like everybody else is just non-existent when we're together it's like nothing else exists it's just you and i you know this is when you have this kind of of relationship uh with god that is when you know that you know that you know in your heart that everything written in the word of God is true it's true I don't care how much evidence piles up against it the word of God is true I don't care how many doctors reports say this sickness or disease is in my body the word of God is true by the stripes of Jesus I'm healed I don't care how many People the enemy is operating th through to offend me, to discourage me, to stray me. I don't care. The word of God is true. I'm not listening. I'm not opening my ears to any of that. Because when I'm here with my father, everything else is non-existent. It's just you and I. This is intimacy. Passion passionate it's deep god is deep and so is your soul and the bible says deep calls unto deep so the very depths of god his heart is calling to your very depths your heart and when you have this connection your heart connects with the heart of God. It's almost like you hear nothing else, you see nothing else, you, you know nothing else, you feel nothing else. It's just you. It's, it's deep, it's passion, it's love. I love you. I want nothing but you. I want your word engraved in my heart so that I never ever depart from it. I want to only speak what I hear you speak. I want to only release the love and compassion and forgiveness from my eyes. When I look at others in the same way you are releasing that to me when you look at me. I want to do only what I see you do. I want to believe every word that is in your holy scripture. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I am. I am healed. The heart of God is connecting with my heart and it's telling me the truth. I am healed. This is not some kind of affirmation. The word is alive. It's active. And when I bring the word of God inside me, it begins to activate life. There cannot be sickness and life because where life touches that sickness, it destroys it. Choose to believe God choose to believe him 
even when everything else states something different. I shall walk by faith and not by sight. I will go by faith according to the word of God and not according to what I see. I will go by what is unseen rather than by what is seen. In other words, I will believe that the things that are already done in the heavenly realms, the things that I, I cannot see with my physical eyes, I will walk according to that. I will believe that rather than what I'm seeing here. There's eviction, there's poverty, there's uh, sickness, there's... Scripture says God calls, calls the things which are not seen as though they are seen. In other words, God speaks and he calls. Just as in the beginning he spoke things into existence, let there be light, let there be, and there was. God calls the things which are not seen as though they are seen. Things which are not seen here in this natural realm, but exist in the spiritual realm, in the heavenly realms with God, we can't see them here. So God calls the things which are not seen here as though they are seen, as though it's already here. I am healed. I am free. Hallelujah. The word of God is alive and active. Father, I place you high above everything. Above my family, my finances, my health, myself, my comfort, my sleep, my desires, everything. I put you high above everything. You are my all in all. I give you everything. I give you my heart. I give you my life. I give you everything. I want nothing but you. This place that I have just shown you now, this consciousness, this awareness, this dimension, this spiritual place that I have just shown you now, is deep it's it's deep this is why i said don't go into prayer superficially father thank you bless my family good night that compared to that they are two different worlds two different worlds this superficial shallow place here makes you make it difficult for you to believe the word of God to believe what God is saying which makes it easy for the devil to come in like a snake that he is with his lies and because you're so shallow with God anyway there's no depth because you're so shallow so superficial with God it's so easy for the enemy to catch you with with lies so easy but this place I've just shown you here that is deep 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 first of all the enemy was nowhere in sight there he was not even anywhere existent. He didn't even exist in this place. Satan cannot come into this place. Witches, witchcraft, demons, they cannot come into this place. This is a place deep, deep, deep with God. This is where you're operating fully in spirit. In the heavenly realm where you are seated in Christ at the right hand of God. Satan cannot go there. Witches cannot go there. In heaven, there is no lies. There is no envy. There is no bondage. There is no sickness. There was none of that up there. All that stuff was non-existent there where I was right now. So I'm walking the earth 
as you see me, I'm sitting here, but I was operating from up there. I was speaking to you, whatever was up there, I was speaking it here. I was bringing it to you here, trying to make it visible for you to see it here. I was calling the things which are not seen as though they are seeing, so you can see it here. First of all, Satan was nowhere even in the picture there. Okay. So if he wasn't even in the picture, I gave him absolutely zero foothold, zero opportunity for him to come in like the snake that he is to tell me in that place, uh, 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 that sickness will never leave. Um, that bondage will never leave. Um, that, that, that person said that bad thing to you and you need to get offended or try to make me angry or envy or things that are of darkness. There was zero uh, um, crack for him to come in. Zero doors were open. Zero uh, foothold was given to him. He was non-existent. It was me and my father. And from that place, I just know in my heart every single word written in the Holy Scripture, the Holy Word of God is true. It's true. It's my job to abide in the Word. So I can know the truth and the truth will set me free. Jesus said, if you abide in my word, that was abiding with God. That was abiding in his word. His word is in my heart. I know it to be true. I hold on to it. I don't care about anything else. I don't care what is happening here, there, anywhere. It's all non-existent to me. I'm abiding in the word. This is all I see. This is all I hear. This is all I know. This is all I care about. This is all I want. This is all I am. I'm abiding in his word and he is abiding in me. He says, if you abide in my word, you will be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So as I was abiding in his word, as I was abiding in his word, nothing else is existent. I'm abiding in your word. What your word says is true. By your stripes, I'm healed. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm abiding in his word in this, on, in this, on this deep, 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 deep level. He says, you will truly be my disciples. You will know the truth. I'm abiding in his word. I know the truth. I'm not opening my ears up to anything else. I know the truth because I'm so deep, deep, deeply abiding in his word. He says, you will know the truth and that truth will set you free. I know it and it sets me free. So I'm free. I'm free from what? I'm free from when I, when I turn around to see, I'm free from all of this. I'm free from any arrows fiery darts of the enemy trying to come at me tell me that sickness is there you won't do that that i'm free i'm free jesus says the enemy comes and he finds nothing in me nothing of yours is in me you find nothing in me because i am filled with my father i am filled with the word which is jesus christ himself it is no longer I who live, but the Christ, the Christ, Jesus Christ who lives in me. This is freedom. This is freedom. I am free from this and this and this and this and this, whatever this and this and this and this may be. I don't need to know. I don't need to know everything. I don't need to turn on the TV to know what is happening around the world. I don't need to scroll five hours to, through social media to see what is happening there. I, I need nothing. Everything I need is in him. 
everything I need is in him. And he lives in me. Therefore, everything I need, I already have. That is freedom. He is beautiful. He is clothed in majesty. He is the light of this world, including this inner world, our souls. He is our savior, our healer, our deliverer, our redeemer, our provider, our ever-present help in time of trouble, our strong tower, our counsel, our freedom, our righteousness, our holiness. Poof. He is my heart. He is my love, the love of my life. Jesus Christ is my sweetheart. Everything I need is in him. There is nothing anyone or anything in this world can give me that Jesus Christ cannot outdo. Everything I need is in him. And everything comes to me at the right time. His timing. Not mine. Not theirs. His timing. He is a God of miracles. And he loves you. And he has plans for you to prosper. choose you have free choice make the decision to believe god to believe your heavenly father make that choice today and the holy spirit will work with you to get you to a place where you will know in your heart of hearts that every word of god is true you will know that in your heart and because out of your heart flow the issues of your life exactly that truth of God will continuously to will, will continuously flow out of you and you will see continuously the manifestation the unfoldment you will see the word of God unfolding before your very eyes you will see the word of god come alive in your life every single day that is beauty that is freedom hallelujah praise the lord jesus christ my books all can be purchased from amazon link is below who is god worldly life of deception uh, new age occult to jesus christ spiritual warfare and this is grace. More links below. God bless us all.